Welcome, my friends. We're very excited. I'm very excited today to be at Harold's Chicken Pie Restaurant in Reading, Massachusetts. Now, people of my age group have already eaten many, many, many chicken pies. Many. Good. I've eaten a few. I ate them out of the glass dish. You remember the glass oh, dish? Yes. So I'm very excited to be here. So let's get right to Wally. Tell us about Harrow's. Just a little bit of the history now. You know what I mean? Then we'll get on and we'll, as we go along, we'll talk more about it. But start as Sure. Well. Mr. and Mrs. Harrow opened the business in 1938. They had a roadside stand selling lunches and sandwiches and chickens. And they had a side business of making the chicken pies. Really? And uh, they had a restaurant seating area. And they were here for the 40s and the 50s. My father came to work here in 1956. And we've been here ever since. Uh, <laughs> smart man, your father. That's right. He was yeah. a smart guy. He's he a smart, smart guy. guy. Good. Yeah. yeah, he's still here with us. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Dan, want to pick it up from there? Yeah. Uh, my father still works a little with us occasionally. So he's still involved. Uh, Wally and I bought it about 12 years ago. And uh, we made some changes, but the one constant for the last 70 years has been uh, chicken pies. We've been making them pretty much the same way as uh, they did back in 1938. It was good in 38, it's still good, right? There's no need no to find the light change. Why no change? need to change, change. it. Yeah, it's perfect. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So now they all come. I know they, they, it's all in aluminum, but people like the old stories. We used to have it in a glass dish. We had the glass dish, and, and people would pay a dollar deposit, and deposit and on it. Thing back and forth and all that. Yeah. I, I was born and brought up in Woburn, and, and of course we came over here a lot, and that was the thing. You brought the dish, or if you forgot the dish, you yeah. might end up with three or four dishes yeah. in the corner of the kitchen, you know, saying, we got to get them back to Harrow. They're worth money, you know? You know, we haven't used the glass bowls in more than 10 years now. Yeah, it's been years? probably 15 years. And uh, people still return them. They're coming back in from sale really? 10 or 15 years ago. So they've had a lot of them in their cabinets, you know? Wow. So without going into the, uh, the into the secret recipe, you know what's 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 in that chicken pie? What is it? Well, is the gravy famous? The gravy, gra the gravy is uh, the the famous part of it, or the most uh, the hottest part that people have with it. But it's very simple. We cook chicken slow overnight. Then we take the stock from the chicken and we make a gravy out of that. Then we take the bones out of the chicken and we put together a pie with potatoes and carrots. The crust is homemade. Everything is uh, it's a simple recipe. But it does take time. If you were Who to make decided on carrots, why don't we put an onion in there? I mean, for <laughs> some reason, carrots to be. It that must have been Mr. Caro back in the 30s. That it was must, her decision, and we haven't changed it. It must have been a collar thing or something. I make it, you know yeah. what I mean? People, yeah, can, it does like it a collar yeah. presentation, yeah. you know. A lot of people thing. ask, why don't we do peas? But we do carrots. Yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, what about the crust? Just a regular it's a pie crust, same pie crust? Pie, same pie it? crust. It's a very simple one, it only has four or five ingredients. We make it here from scratch every day. I think the key thing is that we make everything fresh. We use all fresh ingredients. It's a little bit hotter that way. That's basically But it's the old way of doing it. And uh, fresh chicken, make the crust every day, and uh, fresh potatoes. It, it makes for a, a more wholesome product, we think. You so know? you get two choices, right? Right. What are they? They're with vegetables, which is the potatoes and carrots, or without. Without. And if you get it without, then it's just chicken, gravy, and crust. And you bring it home, and you can throw anything you want in it. That's right. right. Yeah. People empty make, the refrigerator. And yeah, make potatoes fresh. on the side, or yeah. make their own peas, or broccoli, whatever. And, but most people buy them with the vegetables already in it, to be honest really? with you. They sure do, yeah. yes. Then it's a whole meal. It's ready to go. You don't need to add anything. It's just, there you go, scoop it out, ready wow, to go. Wow, that's interesting. Huh? I'd have to think about that for a minute. Yeah, that's, yeah. I suppose you, it's true. I mean, you don't have to be fooling around. You just take yeah. it right home. Yeah. I think people are in a hurry, and this is a real convenience. If they can come in at 5.30 and pick up a large hot pie and buy a bag of rolls, they're going to go home, and their dinner is complete. There's no side work or getting dishes ready to go with it. It's, we didn't uh, say anything about the rolls. The rolls, we're going to make the rolls too, right? I'm going to look at yeah. them. Yeah, sure. right here. Absolutely. Everything is done right here. That's it. Everything's right here. Yeah. That's beautiful. We have a very short menu. There's only a few items that we do. Yeah. So we want to specialize in those few things and do a really, really good, job good job with them. So now, the, 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 you can call up and get the pie. I mean, how, what's the definition of warm, hot? Hot out of the oven, ready hot to eat. Hot out of the oven. How do, you, how do you just put it in a box? And oh, we put it in a box, yeah, and you carry it like a pizza. You call ahead, okay. tell us what you want, and we'll have it ready for you. And you that, that was a pretty good idea, I think. Yeah. Huh? yeah. I'll take credit for that one. Okay, that's all <laughs> that right. That was my <laughs> idea. <laughs> well, it's idea, hot pie. <laughs> that's good. So, so, so the other, okay, let's go back a little bit. For people who really don't know, Harold's is located 
Do you remember a description? Like right on Route sure, 28? Sure, we're on Route 28 in Reading. That's Main Street. It's yeah. uh, exit 38B off of 128. Very short distance. Quarter mile on the left. On Get the off left. the highway, quarter mile on the left. Can't miss it. Big mm -hmm. sign. Big right long building. Big, yep. Yep. Okay. We have a website. You want to repeat that? Chickenpie.com. That's an easy one to remember. Chickenpie.com. And the phone number is? 781-944-0410. That's great. Okay. So let's get back to chicken pies. I'm, I'm, I, I, it's, the whole thing is just, I'm, I'm not confused, but in my old age, we ate something I've eaten here plenty of times, yeah. and I don't want to miss something I thought about myself, you know what okay. I mean? I'm try, we're trying to talk to new people out there. Sure. Okay. New eyes, new legs. Yeah. Sure. So uh, everything here is made fresh every day, and the recipes have come down through the generations. I mean, if your right. father's been here since the 50s, Right. right. Mr. Harrow was here since the 30s. Yeah. So this is a pretty successful operation, you'd have to yeah. say. So whoever, Mrs., I'm sure it was, was Mrs. Mrs. Harrow. Mrs. Harrow, Mrs. Harrow was, yes. Well, she was making the recipe for this yeah. gravy. She, she knew what she was doing. Yes. Yeah. Know, because it's been successful all this time. That's, that's great. So what about the regular pie? I see regular pie in the, in the uh, we'll take some pictures of that. Regular pie on the counter. We, yeah. we, we saw got a apple pies dessert. and blueberry pies. So someone comes in and buys a chicken pie for dinner, they can grab an apple pie to go home with it, and it makes uh, for a complete meal. So what else do we have? Do we have rooms here? Did you rent out? Or you got, it used to be a restaurant at one time, right? right? We, we had seating here from 1938 until we closed the restaurant in 1998. We were doing two jobs, selling the chicken pies and having a restaurant. We were better at doing chicken pies than anything else. So we started converting the space into use for chicken pies. And it's been 11 years since we made the switch, and it's been a good one for us. It hasn't hurt one bit. It hasn't hurt. We're no? having a restaurant. And having no. it. People are just going to come in here and get two pies. That's I it. just I was nosing out here a few minutes ago, and a couple of people were here from Milton, Massachusetts, come all the way from Milton up here to get a pie. That's a compliment to the yeah to the to the to your facility. Yeah, here. People come out past Worcester, they come up here or down near the Cape. If they're up this way, they stop in. I had a lady call me the other night from Texas. Said she grew up around here and wanted to know if we could ship them down there. We don't ship, but um, we get their requests all the time from far away. I bought a I bought one at. Uh, Market basket, so you're in the supermarkets, right? Right. Yeah. That's a frozen pie in the supermarkets. It's a um, little bit different, but it's close to ours. It's very convenient. It gets a farther reach out to the other communities that are too far away. So, is it only it. market basket? Is it, I mean, I'm stopping shop. You're in all of them. It's in a lot of other small stores. It's in Johnny's Food Master. Um, McKinnon's has them, and several of the small meat markets carry that as well. So that's good for business, right? Well, yeah. I can't get over here. I can just go to the supermarket. That's right. Every little bit helps. Yeah, yeah. sure it does. Absolutely. All right. All right. I'm very happy. So why don't we talk about going into the kitchen and do something? What are we going to do out there? Well, I think the most important sure part of this chicken pie is the gravy. Okay. And they're making some gravy right now. We can have a look at that and see how it's made and yeah. how it looks when it's being cooked up. Most of the things we do are pretty simple, but they are time consuming. And to make a nice, fresh gravy, uh, it takes a little bit of time. And then when you, when you, you said the chicken is cooked slowly over a long period of time. Is yeah. That, is that something? Yeah, it just barely boils and simmers and simmers for hours and hours. If you were to make this pie at home, you'd have to get up at 4 in the morning to get it ready for dinner that night. Really? It would take you all day. It's and step that, by step. That makes the chicken just melt in your mouth chicken. It makes it very tender. So, it makes, it, it makes the, uh, the gravy richer and have more flavor to it as well. All right. Why don't we go in the back? To the kitchen, not in the back, but why don't we go into the kitchen and see what these guys can show us about what they do. Okay, yeah, yeah, check out this chef, right? <laughs> right? That's so gay. That's a really gay. <laughs> Dude, look at those pants. Please don't say that. What? Don't say that something is gay when you mean that something is dumb or stupid. It's insulting. It's like if I thought this pepper shaker was stupid and I said, man, and this pepper shaker is so 16-year-old boy with a cheesy mustache. Just saying. When you say that's so gay, do you realize what you say? Knock it off. Mom. Mom. What? You can't find Ichabod. What? You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. 
There are thousands of teens in foster care who would love to put up with you. Okay, so these pies have been made. Now we're just putting the last step, the, the crust on top. It's done by hand. They roll out the dough, and now he puts it on and crimps it the edge all by hand. And um, these guys get pretty good at it. They can, uh, he's actually going slow right now for the camera. Uh, <laughs> but they do this, they could probably do it in their sleep. And uh, Wally and I have both done our share of these. Um, we had to stop Wally because his didn't look part quite of, as neat. Part of the training process, huh? Yeah. To be yeah. able to run the place, you have to know how to do all these jobs yourself. You have to do it all, yeah. And it's, um, it's simple, but that's how we do it. Look at this. Now, he, it, all this, this, this dough and everything has been manufactured here this morning. Yep, they made the dough, and it's a um, simple recipe. Then they make them, uh, they run them through the dough roller, makes them gonna, flat like that. And we got a couple extras. We can put them on an apple pie. Um, I don't know if we have any apple pies no, ready to go, but it's, it's, it's the same dough. It's the right? same dough, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, these are, the, these are the pies all ready to go. They got the, the chicken, the potatoes, and the carrots. In right, and this is the family size. This is a four serving. Okay. This is probably our most popular one. We use a lot of those. And, well, uh, sir, you could eat one of those yourself. No, Jesus. I've never been now able look to. At that. <laughs> yeah. People tell me they can, but I've never <laughs> seen it. Never saw it. Never saw it. Oh, the boy. chicken pie is very satisfying. Well, that's great. And look at the bread. Now, look at the bread. Kyle, can you get a picture of the bread? Look, it's perfect over there. It looks perfect. So, those well, are the rolls. Is watching the oven. When the color comes out, you know, yep, yep. You, you know, it's a lot of it's just by the the look of them. You can tell they're nice and golden. Yep. And now they they're cutting them up into the packages and uh, wrapping them up. People like to understand that, that, that when you're dealing with food in a restaurant, you eat with your eyes. You right. Your it eyes. has to look good. It has to look good. That's yeah. why I was trying to make the point about the carrots. Somebody decided you get to have a little color in there. You know, you get a potato, it's almost the color of the gravy, right? So right. If when the chicken is basically and they're all chicken, right. so now you throw a few pieces of carrots in there. It, it brightens bit. it up and uh, they add some flavor to it also. Because all these chefs, they like to have presentation, they like to have color. Yes. Uh, look at the camera, yeah, I gotta keep looking. Hi. <laughs> All right, he's doing a great job here. Look at him. Eat it up. Can you go faster? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. well, these guys make so a lot of pies. That, we pinch that right onto the onto the aluminum. Yeah, so they it pinch. It don't leak out when you crimp right. it. Right. That's they they pinch it on the edge, crimp it on the edge, all by hand. And, yeah. um, you know, they have that homemade look. They are homemade. This is how you'd make it at home. Just so on a when, bigger so scale. When, when Dad said, get in that kitchen and put those covers on those chickens. You guys were right right there, experts. That's it, right. Huh? Actually, I'm still in training. <laughs> still in training, that's good. Look at that, perfect. So now they go in the oven, browned up, or no? These ones will be put into the refrigerator for uh, somebody that wants them. We cook the hot ones if, at two order. Two order, and there's a clock outside, it's perfect. It says to the girls who answer the phone, what time you should come. I think it's a great idea. So they, all they have to do is look up and say, you want to come and get your hot pie, you come at this time. Was it an hour and a half? Takes an hour and a half, an yeah. Hour and a half. yeah. Perfect. All right, so why don't we move to some other area of the kitchen? We have four of those uh, steam kettles down there. That's where you cook the chicken and make the gravy. Each one is 40 gallons. Everything goes in there, pizza oven. Uh -huh. Yeah, pizza oven, that's where we bake the pies in. I'd say probably 75% of them, or 80%, are, are cold. People buy cold pies and they bake them themselves. Because it's pretty easy that anybody that knows how to use an oven at all, you throw it in the oven for an hour or so. So when I come in and I say to the girls, I'll have one of those pies, and I say to her, well, how, how do I prepare it? Because I'm just an old guy and I live alone. You know, she just yeah. goes, put it on 375 and leave it in there for an hour and a half. It'll be for, for an yeah, hour. Yeah, and the directions are all on the boxes. Oh, there. the directions are all on there and yep. everything. All right. 45 minutes to an hour, 375. There you go. It's not high tech, but it works. Not high tech, but it works. That's all that counts. Yeah. All the directions for the whole thing is on the cover of the pie. Phone number, everything. Very good. The directions on there, if it's frozen, people take them home and throw it in the freezer, then you cook it a little bit longer. Yeah. yeah. But most people, I think, cook them off fresh. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's cool. So you can't forget, you can't, you 
can't leave anything out. You can't. Everything. Yeah. You're gonna have every every step of the process. Well, coming. over the years, any question they ask us, we try to answer that. So yeah. if it's putting the directions on the box or, or making a sign or, or a way that we take their order, we try. Now he's pretty up. Don't. The most important part of the chicken pie is the gravy. Is the gravy. And see here, we're stirring the gravy up to make sure it's smooth, getting all the lumps out of it. Yeah. At this point, it's uh, been cooked for quite a while. We've added the vegetables to it, the spices, and the flour, and we bring it to a certain temperature. We're going to get really hot, and when it's all smoothed out, we have a finished product. Finished product. And then we cool it down as fast as we can, and that's the gravy we use for the pies. And how how's that process work? You cool it down. How do you cool it down? Just by temperature and stays. We we have a sit? we have a high capacity uh, refrigerator that blows oh, right. cold air on it and, and it brings it down really fast. As you can see, still stirring it, making sure it's very smooth. Smooth. It's the most important part of a chicken pie is our gravy. All right, very good. Now how's what I suppose this is what he. He puts a the, uh, container under there, just open it up and drains right out. No, we actually take, take it out from the top. That way, you can, really? we we can look we can look at it and put it into the pans we want to as it comes off. All right. After the pie is made, it bakes in the oven for about an hour or so. The pie comes out of the oven. The golden brown top lets us know that it's done. Boy, does it look delicious! Of course, after an hour or so, it's very hot. So let it sit for about 10 minutes and then grab a plate and dig in. Why don't we head over to the table now so we can have a taste of this wonderful chicken pot pie. Big dreams and good grades aren't enough to get into college. There are actual steps you need to take. Finding someone who can help is the first and most important. For the next steps, go to knowhowtogo.org. So, April. Yeah? You know your charger's still using energy when it's plugged into the wall, right? Yeah, but uh, that's not my charger. I don't even have a cell phone. Millions of kids are using their energy wisely. What's your excuse? No matter where you live, Life in the ocean depends on you. <laughs> to help protect our ocean, recycle and dispose of your trash properly. <laughs> to learn what you can do, go to keepoceansclean.org. Now, of course, we're back from the kitchen with Wally and Dan for the favorite, my favorite part of the program where I get to taste the food. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, my favorite and all my, all, my, uh, all my people who watch this program, they say, how do you stay so thin eating all that good food? I say, well, <laughs> that's the secret. That's the secret. They don't want you wallowing around like a big cow. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we, we, we left our interview part of the process in the beginning. We talked a little bit about the history of Harrow's. We've been in the kitchen, we saw the manufacturing process. It's pretty interesting. But why don't you kind of, can you kind of bring us through the manufacturing of the pie again, just so we can think about it. So now we make the gravy and the chicken is cooked. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Well, we start, we cook the chicken first. That's uh, slow. We cook that, and when that's cooked, we drain it off. We use the stock from that to make the gravy. Yeah. Uh, then they take the bones out of the chicken and the skin. 
Then it's time to assemble the pie. They put gravy, the potatoes and carrots, and the chicken, then more gravy on top of that, and then they top it off with a crust. Now, somewhere in there, they made a batch of crust. Yep. So it's, uh, you know, while the gravy's boiling or whatever, then they make some crust and then uh, put it all together. And it comes out. Here it is. Here it is. Right here. So let's take a piece and see what it tastes like. Now, this is, uh, this is really uh, em embarrassing for me because I've, in my lifetime, I'm 73 years old, I've probably eaten three or four hundred of these chicken <laughs> pies from Harrow's. And as usual, it's delicious. And we're going to have a piece of crust because that's always good. And all my friends are saying, how does he get that job eating all that good food? That's a food? good job, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, right. How's it taste? Everything pretty good? The chicken's tender? Chicken tender. Potatoes cooked perfectly. And in all restaurants, excuse me for a minute, people eat with their eyes. It's all presentation. That's why we talked about the, the carrots. You know? Right, they add a lot of color. They add a lot of color. So while I'm eating this, why don't we talk about, again, for people who don't know where we're at, tell us where we're at, we have what the hours of the operation are. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we're open seven days a week from 10 in the morning till 7.30 at night, and we're at 126 Main Street in Reading, which is Route 28. And uh, we're actually 38B off of Route 128. We're right there on the left-hand side. I'm going to try some. Do you mind? Yeah, well, I'll have you some. Do you mind? Go ahead. All right. Mmm. Yeah. This is excellent pie. This is good stuff. I think it's interesting that the... That the uh, the weather has something to do with the way people eat. Well, and yeah, I never realized that. On the nice weather, you want to be outside having a barbecue, but if it turns gray and nasty and cool, people want chicken pie. Comfort food is what it is. So we can call up. We'll get, we already have the phone number, so we can call, talk to the girls here. They'll mm -hmm. tell you if you want it hot. They'll tell you what time to come in and get it. Right. And if it's just regular, you can just come down and get it any, any way you want, right? Yeah, just stop by any time. You can get a cold pie. Or if you want one for later that day, give us a call and we'll have it hot for you. And the directions and everything about the pie is, in, is printed on the box the pie comes in. Yep, the baking instructions are right on top. You throw it in your oven at home if you take a cold one. And it's uh, about an hour in the oven. And some people, if you buy them ahead and want to throw them in the freezer, you can do that also. He's enjoying Look at the they're all, they're all smiling over there, Zay. You got your, you, you dope sitting there eating while we're here working. It's very, very good. Now, we also have bread that comes with it. We have sides, I guess. We have right. We have, a, the sides? we have a few sides. We make uh, the fresh baked rolls, just a plain white roll, but they go good yeah. with the pie. They look delicious. We sell apple and blueberry pie for dessert. Yeah. We sell mashed potatoes, uh, fresh butternut squash. Chicken soup. Chicken soup and chicken, chicken salad. Soup. Oh, chicken soup, all right. So yeah. yeah. So if you get a little under the weather and you don't feel good, you can have to come Not down and get some uh, Harrow's yeah. uh, chicken soup, make you feel better the next day. Yes, you can. It works. So, so the sides, you can just come in and say, I'll have this side or that side. Right, right, okay. right. exactly. Very good. That's very good. So where, did, where are we now? We, 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 what did, we, did we forget anything? We got the website, we got the phone number. We got a wonderful reputation of, uh, let's see, 30, 70 years of 70 being in years, business. And your father came here in the 50s. He actually started working in the 40s. In the 40s. Yeah, he bought the company in the 50s. Oh, he bought the, the company in the 50s. And yeah. he's been here ever since. Yep. Thanks a lot for inviting us over. Thank you, Ed. Really hope. Nice to have you here, yes. Ed. Yes. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm coming back a million times because I've probably eaten this pie, like I said, 300 times in my life. And all you people out there, when it's a nice rainy afternoon and you don't feel like having a barbecue, come to Harrow's because it's been the same fresh, wonderful product for the past 70 years. Come by and see us. Thank you.